Hello YouTube, just uh, another quick video on these emergency lights. Um, I've got quite a selection going on now, uh, ranging from the cheaper channel. Um, these ones I th think are JSB. This one is a channel, a more expensive one, a Wyvern. Also got um, Oh, a thorn emergency light fitting, and I think this one is. Uh, oh, it goes a bit of it. Memvia. So, got a few good brands here, but because um, the council deems them uh, no good, we've had to go around replacing quite a few, repaired a few, but most of these were replacements. So, this is the one that I've already had a look at, and you've seen on previous videos. And it puts out quite a nice light. So I'm just going to put that back there to give us more of a, a working light. So what I'm going to do now is use my other 3.7 battery pack to test the other emergency lights. Um, so let's figure out which one to start with. Right, so I figured we'll start with the thorn one as I've already put the connector on this one. This one had a two cell stick, so 2.4 volts. Um, it's got a nice, it's got the back with it and it's got the diffuser, so I can reuse that. And I have got a plan behind all of these, but I'm just going to make sure they all work first. So, this is the Thorn one. And that works, that's good. So we can keep that one. And I just want to get quite a few of these, I want to get four or five, so we know the Thorn one works. Let's put that to one side. Uh, let's go to this one here now, which is the... Ah, super lux. Okay. So now I need to take the leads off this. So give me a minute. So now we're ready to test the super lux one. I'll we'll plug that in. That one works too. So we keep that one. So now we're going to try this JSB one, which looks suspiciously like the channel one, which is over there, which we'll try next. Here we go. There we go, this one. There we go. Right, so that makes one, two, three, four. So we've got four so far, plus that one that's five working. Let's try this uh, channel one. This is the cheaper version of the channel one. There's a different set of leads. Strip these down. Ready to test the channel one. Here we go. No, that doesn't seem to work. Try a different tube. No, this one doesn't seem to work. But I can smell something burning, so let's unplug that. So this one's a no-go. We'll 
which leaves us with one more. Which is this one. This one is the Membia from one of the uh, better makes. So. Right, so now we're ready to test the uh, Membia emergency light. And that one works, which is good. So. Now the question is, what am I going to do with one, two, three, four, five, six emergency lights? What I plan to do with these emergency lights is basically um, collect up all of my um, 18650 cells, which are good, um, charge them all up, make a big, huge 3.7 volt lithium iron pack and run all of these in a row uh, next to each other uh, for shed lighting when I get my shed. So um, I'm going to continue collecting these. Uh, hopefully I'll try to get some very similar ones. All of these I have here, uh, with the exception of one, runs on a two cell uh, series stick. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, basically figure out whether I want the lights that way on or whether I want the lights that way on and uh, set them up on a block of wood uh, ready to mount as a one big light fitting in my new shed when it arrives and when I build it uh, so that I can just charge the 3.7 volt pack and uh, be done with all of the horrible little lithium iron cells that I've got, all the 18650s as I said and just have a, a pull cord switch which will operate all of my shed lighting and uh, recharge it maybe once a week hopefully. Um, let me know what you think, this is just my way of uh, recycling some of these uh, light fittings which are just going to be uh, dumped or taken to the, to the landfill. I don't know what they do with these once we uh, hand them in uh, but these are a wee item, waste electrical and electronic equipment. So. I'm doing my little bit by saving them. Maybe, hopefully, if I get a year out of them, then I'll be lucky. Um, uh, I could also look into um, DC to DC converters and drop the 12 volts of a future battery bank system down to the voltage which these will run on. So anyway, let me, let me know what you think in the uh, comments. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with these for now. I'm probably going to have to put them in the cupboard. But anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, if you think it's a great idea, uh, and a novel idea to, to save these from going in the bin. Um, and